Hey guys, welcome back. We're just uh, driving on Friday here in a snowstorm and uh, lots of traffic from uh, Montreal to St. Sever. And uh, thought I'd uh, give you an update here. You can see uh, we're at 35 uh, on the gong about 30 to go so we're cutting it pretty close but uh, the highway driving has been good you can see that the green dots are going up towards 42 so we shouldn't have an issue. Uh, we're running uh, about 22 degrees but I got the radio turned off right now. You turn that off. Yeah, so you can see where we are here. We had a full charge this morning so at this point we're uh, 8.6 kilowatts. 30-20% of it has been the bad. Stuck in traffic, 45 right now. The fastest we've gone is about 88. But uh, just thought I'd update you. We'll hit you up when we get to the fast charger in Saint Sever. Give you an idea of how it's charging, speed it's charging, stuff like that. There we go. I would uh, show you the, uh, the charging. So we'll uh, power down. Get my finger off the lens. There we go. This is for the uh, DC quick charge. The rest is for the 240 and uh, 110. Card. Of course, it's rolling, so you can't actually see anything, can you? Plug in the car and the press to start button. But somebody picked everything up and tangled it up. Sorry. There we go. We'll see. I don't think you guys can see that. I'm gonna have to change the speed and do it for you one more time. So it's uh, evaluating the vehicle, receiving the car's information. Press the start button. And here, click on. Back to the car. It's only gonna take about 10 minutes to, 10 or 15 minutes at the most to, to charge the car. It doesn't have too far. So 15 minutes to get 80%. These cars are awesome. They don't go that far, but they charge really quick. Yeah, we'll go back here. Three ninety-three volts at 121 amps, 17%. And this will go right up to 80% uh, at this rate. At 80%, that's when this car starts to shut down. Other cars, uh, like the Soul, I think they start, and the Leaf start to shut down. Uh, charging speeds at, uh, I think it's 50%. But this will go right up to uh, 80. So you can see that it's at 19%. I'll come back and record some more uh, when it's above 50%, so you can see. Up there, I'm just gonna step out and uh, give you guys a quick look at what the charge rate is. At, uh, this is roughly 50%. So 52%, 394 at 122. So nine minutes in, we've gone from whatever it was, 9% to 53%. And still uh, charging at the full rate at uh, above 50%. Okay, so we're very close to 80%. I'm just gonna go and show you guys where it's sitting up there. Before it shuts down, There we go, 79%, 396 at 117 amps. It's just starting to shut down now, as you can see. The amps are dropping. 
and it'll uh, it'll cut the amps down um, to about 50 percent and continue to charge um, at a quite a nice rate uh, up to about 95 I guess for this car so the Chevy spark because I didn't do a full um, I didn't do a full charge so it's just adding on to the 14 that we saw before but uh, anyway uh, stop by a buddy's cottage and turn the heat on for him for the weekend and we'll give you a few uh, views on views as the strad man would say have to make a pit stop at my buddy's place to turn on his heat for him so when he gets up here it's nice and warm okay his heat's turned on we're heading off to the cottage see how high the snow banks are <laughs> D so that it coasts better. When you're running in D, it's not a lot different than running in L. There's a little bit more um, uh, resistance on the motor, so uh, you, you're quickly, as soon as you lift your foot off, you start regenning. Um, when you run in D, you can basically do the same thing. Uh, the, the regen's are considerably less, so the car coasts better. Uh, so you can do stuff like this, let it run down the hill pick up speed and that way you travel further but really uh, running in L you can get the same effect by running in D um, because when you use the brake the first thing the car does is regen uh, before it actually applies the brakes so it's somewhat you know using the brake pedal like the paddle on a bolt the steering wheel paddle on a bolt to add extra braking uh, extra regen and that's how this car works. You step on the brake, it's all regen until the car gets, unless it's a, you know, a very sudden stop and you slam on the brakes, then it'll uh, go from regen to the four brakes. And that's why uh, it's an issue with this car when you're um, in slippery weather like this. Um, it only brakes with the front two wheels uh, because it's regening. And uh, to avoid that, a lot of the time I'll shift the car into neutral coming up to a stop uh, so that four, all four brakes are applied so the car doesn't slide through a stop sign. Uh, but the brake pedal works like a, 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 a regen. Uh, the harder you press on it, the more regen you get uh, with the engine until uh, it gets to a point where the, the, 
brakes need to come to be applied to, to stop the vehicle. Like as soon as um, the regen, the car senses any uh, slippage on the wheels, it shifts to the brakes, which is what just happened at the last stop sign there. And all of a sudden the car lurches forward when the regen kicks off. Uh, it picks up speed and then you step on the brake harder and the ABS comes on and you don't make your stop. So uh, it's much better in this type of weather to shift it from uh, drive to neutral. And it's quite uh, easy to do because there is no real transmission in the vehicle. So you can switch into, just as you're starting to let off of the, the accelerator, you shift it into neutral. It coasts, you apply the brakes, it's all four brakes, you come to a nice stop, and just as you're coming to your stop, you shift it back into D, it's seamless, and uh, off you drive without incident. There's actually um, a fellow viewer that pointed it out. I knew it, but it, it hadn't quite clicked. Uh, Peter had said, uh, yeah, when you uh, regen, you're just regening with the two front wheels, so you're not braking with all four tires. Which explains why in slippery conditions this car is difficult to stop. There you go Peter, coming up on the golf course. Peter was the only one that noticed that uh, I drive by a golf course every time I come up here. Regen just kicked off, so then I can break okay. Oh, and the plow guy has not been by. Um, here at the cottage, we just have 110, so the car's off right now, but you can press and hold the power button. We'll come back on and you have to do this every time you do uh, 110 every time the car has been on and off uh, because you want to charge the car at uh, 12 uh, amps and the car defaults to uh, 8 so charge level oops, and then it always uh, is at reduced 8 amps um, but uh, if you want it to charge faster switch it to 12 faster turn. So we leave our 110 up at the cottage here. Plugged in. Sorry, doing it with one hand. went to the ski hill and returned uh, from picking up my kid and uh, we got home with uh, as you can see six kilometers and that's when the power pro propulsion reduced came on okay here's a good one you can see that uh, so when I left to pick up my son uh, I preheated the car for about 10 minutes and uh, you can see now 49% uh, uh, for the driving of the car 
46% for the climate control because it's minus freaking 25 here. 5% left. 14.4 kilowatts. Not bad.